We researched 25 of the best iced tea pitchers of 2021 before buying and testing 9 popular and high-performing glass and plastic models of all types and styles. Finding the ideal iced tea pitcher for your kitchen can be a disappointing process, as some tend to break, crack, or even make your favorite beverage taste worse. If you're in the market for a pitcher that brews great tasting tea, holds up to wear and tear, won't leak, and is easy to clean, and of course looks great doing all of this, you're in the right place. The first product on our list is Highwear 68-ounce glass pitcher. The Highwear 68-ounce glass pitcher scored well in every test metric and earned the title of our favorite pitcher. This multitasking glass iced tea pitcher checks all the boxes, it's roomy, attractive, lightweight, and easy to clean. Unlike the pear-shaped glass pitchers we tested, its cylindrical shape gives it a sturdy feel and better center of gravity when carrying it or storing it in the fridge. A big bonus for the Highwear 68 is that it can go directly on the stovetop convenient for brewing right in the pitcher. Amazingly, the glass handle stayed cool to the touch even while the water boiled inside, which was not the case for the two other stove-safe glass pitchers we tested. The Highwear 68 stainless steel lid includes a filter spout option as well as a fine mesh strainer, similar to the filter in a French press coffee maker, that filtered loose leaf tea with no problems. The result? Clear, perfectly brewed tea with no leaves or debris floating around. Cleaning also was a breeze, the wide mouth allows for easy hand washing with the included brush, and the whole thing is dishwasher safe. Just make sure to rinse this style of lid well right away after use, because tea bits or fruit pulp, if you're tossing in lemon slices with your iced tea or using the pitcher for infused water, for example, could easily get lodged in the lid parts. One potential downside is that the lid has no silicone ring and is not meant to be airtight. So those who are rough on their pitchers will find that it leaks big time if tipped. The lid didn't result in any odor transfer between pitcher and refrigerator, though. Overall, the Highwear 68 is a wonderful choice for just about any kitchen, especially those where loose leaf tea is a favorite. The second product in our list is Bormioli Rocco Hermetic Seal. Chances are that you've seen the boxy Bormioli Rocco Hermetic Seal before, this timeless design is ever-present at coffee shops and restaurants and would look great in just about any kitchen. We like that the glass is thick and sturdy, making the risk of tipping minimal. Its short stature also gives a nice center of gravity and allows the Bormioli to fit on lower clearance fridge shelves. The pour was steady with hardly any drips, and the hermetic seal, once engaged, which was not an intuitive process, unfortunately, was almost airtight, with only a few drips when the pitcher was held upside down. A major downside to the Bormioli Rocco is its lack of heat resistance. If you plan to use the product for iced tea, you'll need to use cold brew tea bags or brew separately, then cool before pouring into the pitcher. The thicker glass makes it much heavier when full, we weren't comfortable storing the full pitcher in the fridge door compartment or even carrying it one-handed. The handle is only connected at one point, which seems a bit less secure to us. We also struggled quite a bit with getting the lid to fit and seal, after consulting the bare bones directions, we learned that it first needs to be screwed into the mouth the wrong way to pop in, then back the right way to seal. Note that you're in for a big mess, and possibly the lid popping off mid-pour, if you don't do this properly first. If you need a shorter pitcher or don't mind brewing your tea in another container, the Bormioli Rocco would be a nice stylish option at a great price. The next product is Takea 2 Quart Pitcher. Thanks to the non-slip silicone sleeve and thumb and dent on the plastic handle, the Takea Pitcher is easy to carry and pour from, even for kids, or adults with messy or wet hands. This skinny, tall iced tea pitcher has a small footprint and can be stored vertically or horizontally. If you plan to store it vertically, check your fridge shelf clearance first. In our lead tester's old school top freezer unit, the protruding handle on top of the already tall Takea's lid stuck up just enough that it barely fit in the refrigerator's tallest spaces. This pitcher is 12 and 5 16 inches tall. We had to tilt the pitcher significantly for it to clear a bar under the shelf above. Even with all the tipping, 
though, we didn't encounter any refrigerator spills or leaks as long as the spout was closed tightly. That said, there was a decent amount of sloshing when the spout was open, however, it's adjustable, so it got better after we used it a few times. One feature we were particularly excited to test was the patented flash chill method, touted by the manufacturer as chilling freshly brewed tea in seconds. The sturdy plastic did hold up to boiling water with no problems, but even with an entire tray of ice added, it still took about 30 to 40 minutes for our tea to chill in the fridge. The pitcher stayed warm to the touch during that time, so we didn't worry about handling a hot pitcher, we recommend the Takea for anyone who has trouble handling a full pitcher of liquid, wants to let the kids pour their own drinks without worry, or who has a refrigerator that's the right size to accommodate a tall drink of iced tea like this pitcher. The next product is Pratico Quick Pour Airtight. For families with kids, or simply the clumsier people among us, the Pratico Quick Pour Airtight pitcher is an absolute game changer. We recommend this plastic pitcher for anyone who has unsteady pourers in the house, tends to be rough on their kitchen products, or is tight on refrigerator door space. A huge plus to the Pratico is the locking spout. The thumb slider itself can stick, but once it's engaged and locked, this pitcher does not leak even while held upside down. It can even be stored horizontally in your refrigerator if you're low on vertical space or have shallow shelving. The only trick is remembering to put the spout lock back in the locked position every time you put it on its side. The surprisingly large volume of this pitcher has a nice narrow footprint, we could see keeping a few of these with different beverages stocked side by side in the door of the fridge. We tested the Pratico indoors and outdoors to get a feel for its durability. The bottom did show a significant amount of scratching after sitting on concrete steps, but the sides remained in great shape even after being tossed around in a sink full of dishes. There was a lot of sloshing and gurgling while pouring, although only a few drips. The Pratico lid can be tricky to screw on, and it seems slightly off kilter when it's secure, but if you force it on too tight, it may leak. While the Pratico can handle boiling water poured into it, the plastic does get extremely hot. In our lead tester's house, it took at least 45 minutes to cool down enough to handle. And with the handle attached only to the lid, you'll have no choice but to pick up that heavy hot pitcher with your bare hands if you want to move it. Overall we recommend the Pratico for those who want a large capacity pitcher that can handle getting knocked down and dragged around. The next product in our list is Comax Large Pitcher. If you're someone who plays refrigerated Tetris with groceries and likes everything in its proper place, we recommend the Comax Large Pitcher. This square plastic iced tea pitcher fits nicely on a shelf or in the door of a fridge, and its skinny shape means it will save on space and fit well among other containers. It held up to being knocked off a counter, while empty, several times and didn't show any scratches after a couple of days of repeated use. The Comex handled boiling water and cooled enough to touch in about 20 minutes. The flip-up, removable spout that sits on a corner made for a fast, steady pour with no drips. The spout contains no filtration, so you'll need to use tea bags, or a tea ball for loose-leaf tea, if brewing iced tea right in the Comex. There were also a couple of instances where the lid popped up randomly on its own when the pitcher was very full, but once pushed back down, or if some tea was poured out, it stayed put. All pieces held up well in the dishwasher and handwashing, however, the square shape made it a little tougher to scrub every nook and cranny of the inside corners. We found the lid's silicone seal to be pretty solid, but it's not completely leak-proof by any means. We also noticed some very slight fridge odor transfer to the inside after about 24 hours. We recommend the Comax for anyone with limited refrigerator space or who just wants a no-frills, durable pitcher. The next product is Artcom Glass Carafe. For those who want something slightly smaller and more stylized than the Highwear 68 oz, we recommend the Artcom 65 oz Carafe. This pear-shaped pitcher also can be heated right on the stove burner and cleaned with the included brush or in the dishwasher. The art cum was bumped against another glass container and accidentally tipped almost all the way over in the refrigerator, but never cracked. It has the same mesh filter style lid as the Highwear 68 oz and Highwear 64 oz, 
so it likewise filters loose leaf tea like a champ with no floating bits in your drink. The Artcom handle conducted a fair amount of heat when using it to boil water on the stove. It wasn't enough to require a potholder, but something to keep an eye on while heating. The mouth of the pitcher just barely fits a hand, so instead of forcing it in and potentially breaking the glass, we suggest anyone with large hands should use the brush just to be safe. It also showed a minimal amount of staining after housing strong iced coffee for 24 hours, even after a dishwasher cycle. The pear shape may not work in some refrigerator doors, but it does lend a slightly more sophisticated air to your countertop than the Hiwa 68 ounces cylinder shape. The next product in our list is Hiwa 64 ounce glass pitcher. Very similar in style and functionality to the Hiwa 68 ounce and the Artcom, the Hiwa 64 ounce glass pitcher is another pitcher that will look great on your countertop when it's not in use. Brewing wise, the Hiwa 64 ounce held up just as well as the Hiwa 68 ounce and Artcom did on the stove burner. It features a similar mesh filter lid that could be prone to leaks if the pitcher tips over, but we found it to hold its ground quite well both on shelves and in the door of the fridge. In our tests, the Highwear 64's handle got extremely hot after only a few minutes with the product over a low flame. We couldn't safely touch the handle to take the pitcher off the stove. Unfortunately, this drawback is twofold, a potholder or towel was necessary to get it off the stove, but that affected our grip and caused our hand to slip while holding a glass pitcher full of boiling water. Not an ideal safety scenario, like the Artcom, the mouth will fit a smaller hand, but it's probably better to clean it with the included brush or in the dishwasher. Overall, this pitcher is fine for anyone who loves to brew loose leaf tea right in the iced tea pitcher, but if you do use it on the stove, make sure to let it cool completely before attempting to touch the handle. The next product is Boko Glass with Coaster. The Boko 50 ounce carafe is a breeze to use, and we like the extra security of the silicone coaster on the bottom to keep it from slipping on surfaces. The coaster adds stability to the uniquely tapered pitcher, so the risk of it toppling over is minimal even when full, although it's quite tall, skinny, and lightweight. The Boko does include a cleaning brush, which comes in handy since the pitcher has a narrow mouth. While boiling water can be poured into it and the lid has a filter spout, the pitcher isn't meant for brewing loose leaf tea, you'll need a tea ball or bag to keep debris out of your drink. We noted one potential issue while hand washing is that water can easily get trapped between the pitcher and coaster, and removing the coaster could be a slippery process, so we recommended doing so with dry hands before you begin cleaning. We recommend the Boko for those who have limited storage space and want a unique, non-slip pitcher that fits in just about any refrigerator. The next product in our list is Delove 68 ounce glass pitcher. We were excited to test the aesthetically pleasing Delove 68 ounce glass pitcher, and it performed well in several metrics. The spout pours heavily and steadily with very few drips. The shatterproof shell protects the glass pitcher, making it a decent choice for kids. The handle has a secure grip and feels much less slippery than some of the glass handles we tested. The Delove leaked very little when jostled or tipped and fit nicely in the fridge door. We also like that there are a few different shells to choose from to add a pop of color to your countertop. To effectively clean the Delove and avoid a waterlog between the glass pitcher and shatterproof shell, you must remove the glass pitcher by disassembling the shell, which involves unscrewing two large pieces on the bottom. However, those pieces are tricky to get off, doing so requires two hands and significant upper body strength. In our attempt to unscrew the bottom to drain a waterlog that persisted after a dishwasher cycle, the glass pitcher shot right out of the open shell bottom, landing on the floor and fracturing into glass shards. Additionally, the pitcher's mouth is not quite large enough for a hand, and since the product does not come with a brush, you'll need to buy one if you choose to wash it by hand. While there was no odor transfer or leak issues in the refrigerator, the Delove's lid does fit quite loosely. All in all, we recommend the Delove for households that like a pop of color or want a sturdy juice, water, or iced tea pitcher that kids can use. We don't recommend letting little hands disassemble or clean it, and an adult should always make sure that the bottom is screwed on securely. 
Thanks for watching and hope you liked it. As always, all the links about the products will be in the description below, so if you want to find the best prices, and more information that we might not get a chance to mention in the video, be sure to check them out.